In this screencast, I will demonstrate how to make small web badges for your web page to promote your favorite project. I'll be using Inkscape version 0.45. On most occasions, you'll be able to locate badges on the internet that you can freely download. For instance, you can navigate to en.opensusa.org slash buttons and you can find several here. On the other hand, if you wish to make your own custom button, then the steps needed to do that in Inkscape are quite simple. Before we can begin, you may wish to download a font called Silkscreen. Silkscreen can be found at www.kottke.org slash plus slash type slash silkscreen and you see that this uh, particular font is for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'm not sure if the silkscreen is used as a standard font for web badges but it is recommended. It's pretty legible on very small graphic images. Also if you're a Linux junkie and you're looking for some logos and you can head over to uh, defont.com and type in openlogos.font and you'll find a font that has uh, various uh, Linux logos and that's kinda handy sometimes you can turn those into a path or whatever you want to do okay so let's begin the first thing that I'm going to do is set my document properties to 80 by 15 those are the outside dimensions of our uh, button and I'll zoom in on this. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw a rectangle of the same size. I am going to make my stroke one pixel all the way around here. And I'll make this 80. I'll make the height the 15. Okay. I'll select page and we'll center that up on our page. Okay, and I'm also going to make this inside orange, white. Okay, that's the first step. Next step is we will be drawing a rectangle on the inside. And I'm going to make this rectangle a dark gray. Ah, let's make it a little lighter. And I'm going to turn off the stroke and we're going to make this rectangle 23 pixels wide by 11 pixels high. I'll align that on our page, I'll center that up, I'll move it all the way over and then I'm going to move it in 2 pixels. We do that by, uh, by adjusting uh, this dimension here. We'll put 2 in here and you see that moved over. The next thing that I'm going to do is grab my Bezier tool, hold the control key down to keep it straight, and draw just a small segment. I'll keep this one pixel wide and I'll change it to 15 pixels high. Okay, I'll put that in the center of our page. Then I'm going to select this rectangle. I'll do last selected here. I'll push that up against and then I'm going to move it away an extra pixel. So we change this 25 to 26. Okay, that splits the area here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this rectangle. And we'll slide that over. And I'm going to make this rectangle 50 pixels wide. And having the rectangle selected, I'll select this Bezier path that we've drawn. And I'll bump that up against it. And then I'll move it away one pixel. Okay, so that's pretty much... Um, our boundaries here. The next thing that I'm going to do is uh, duplicate this rectangle. We're
we're going to give it just a little lighter shade and I will make that rectangle 5 pixels high, 44 pixels long. I'll select both. I'll center that up. And then I will push that. Whoops. I'm going to go on this side here. And I'm going to push that. Um, actually, let's see. Let's go to the other side. And then we'll move that one pixel away from the end. So I'll put 33 here. OK. Now, let me explain what I've done. <clears throat> this rectangle right here will be uh, our, our text boundary. So your text should fit inside of this thing. Um, it's OK if it comes out just a little bit. Um, but for the most part, we want to try to keep it inside that envelope. This rectangle here will be become our um, background color for our button. And this rectangle right here will become the envelope for our logo. So we'll end up hiding this one and this one in the end. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is choose a font. And we're going to make an open SUSE badge. So I'll select our text tool and I'll type the word open SUSE. And I'm going to select our text, select our text tool, our text dialog. And I'm going to find the silk screen font. And I'll apply that. Now I'm going to make this font 5 pixels high. I'm going to turn on our lock so we can keep the aspect ratio. And I'll move back over. I'll select our font. I'll select this light gray rectangle. I'll line that up. And I'll push it over. OK. Now. You can see that our font is outside of our rectangle here. Let me select the rectangle and we'll make it red so you can see it. So you can see the font is outside. Now what I'm going to do is just adjust the kerning of this, uh, of this text. So I'll step in, holding the Alt key down and the left arrow key. I'll step in two spaces. on each letter. Okay, and you see that that happens to line that up right inside of the envelope. Okay, so now that we're done with our text, I'm going to go ahead and turn that white and we'll zoom back out again. Okay, now I'm done with this this red envelope so what I'm going to do is shove it all the way to the back. And you want to make sure that you pick the red rectangle. There we go. And next thing I'm going to do is I want to bring in my logo. So I'll do that. I already have a logo drawn. And this is the Sousa Lizard logo. And it has to fit inside of this gray rectangle. So that means I've got to make this 11 pixels high. OK. And it's got to be 23 wide. It is 21, so that will fit in there just fine. So I'll select both. And I will do a line centers there. And I am done with this gray rectangle so I'm going to push it to the back. I am done with this line here. Um, depending on what you're doing, for example if, if you didn't want to have a background color here uh, you could just um, use this as a separator. But since I'm not going to use it for this particular button I'm just going to send it to the back and get it out of the way. And I'm going to color this gray field, same color 
as my SUSE logo. And there is your text button. Or I'm sorry, there is your web button. Now, when you're all done with this thing, what you do is you go up to File and export this thing out. And when you export it out, it'll be very small, but you open it up in a text viewer, or I'm sorry, a, an image viewer, you'll see that you've got your web button here. And you can you can see this is 100% scale. You can you can barely make out that it says Open SUSE there. Uh, unfortunately, that's pretty typical uh, of an image this small. I can zoom in on this a little bit bigger, and you can see it. But that's the web button. So you can do all kinds of things here. Uh, you can change colors if you want everything orange. You can do that. Um, whatever you want. So you can do your own custom button, and you can lay these all over your your personal website. So thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.